Well, welcome everyone. It's um, Frisky Fun Flowing Friday today and it's time for the Facebook Live with your most favorite international dream team. Um, I hope, um, you know, you, you see us uh, perfectly because on my screen, I'm a little bit, hmm, um, scrambled actually actually so, I don't know. you are on my screen too well, yeah but i can hear you I clearly am. so it's all good okay well let's continue um yes so it is friday and this is your most it's britjo hana drag set and life by the best society you know one of the most uplifting societies on this globe right now and we have fun we are um, doing amazing things together um, if you want to check it out feel free to do so uh, you can do that actually every week um, during the free workshops and um, we have one of our workshop members um, was sharing a lot of fun things last week. And one of the things she shared was a beautiful quote. And we had lots of fun with it. So we thought, let's share it with you. It's by Jacqueline Versteeg de Weert from the Netherlands. And, well, Brit, share okay. it, please. So it is tune in to FM Inner Being. One of these short ones that has a lot of mm. content to it. But I just want to say Happy Valentine's yes. Day to Jen and everyone else. Oh, yeah! Happy Valentine's Day, yes. yeah. Beautiful 14th of February. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot yeah, I guess all about both it. Both you and I, we're not used to it that much so it's so more true. of an american thing maybe but it's i get now i guess some countries yeah. probably do more of it here too but anyway well it's a nice heart-filled day anyway yeah yeah okay i'll read the quote one more time tune yes. in to fm inner being mm. yeah. that's awesome but also Actually, Brit, you know, a Valentine, uh, the message of love, celebrating love. Right. Actually, it's the same um, about our beautiful quote. Yeah. You know, it has some similarities. Yeah. So. Yeah. Mm. And I see Jen. Hi, Jen. And Jen is in the back office. Um, uh, thank you so much. And I see Martha. Welcome. Awesome. Happy Valentine's Day. Yes. So beautiful. Oh, and here's Bayram as well. Happy Valentine's Day, Bayram. So let's expand on this quote and feel free to comment because um, we're in this together. Uh, you know, um, together we expand. So, yeah. Brit, let's share some expansions on this beautiful short yeah. quote. Yeah, of course, this is an image of radio and tuning into the right station. Or not yeah. necessarily the right, but the one, the station we want. And we mm -hmm. have a choice. When we have a radio, we can just tune into different stations and we can choose the one we prefer to listen to. And it's the same thing with our... It, with our connection to inner being, we as we uh, tune to different stations, there's a lot of static or unfocused mm -hmm. energy. We're not getting a clear signal. Yes. That's like all the resistance that we're carrying. And then all of a sudden there is a clear, clear channel. Mm -hmm. So, And it's our choice. So that's the point here that we... If we are tuned to a channel that doesn't really feel that good, we can tune to a different channel. 
That's awesome. And I know someone who's tuned into the right channel or like a channel filled with love, and that's Bayram. I just saw his comments. He's, <laughs> he commented that, um, well, uh, for me, it's not important because for 15 years, every day is Valentine's Day. So, yes. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. And that's also, has, uh, you mentioned, uh, Brit, you know, to tune in, to love to tune in, um, well, the, mm. the, the, the um, radio station you want. It's, and maybe, um, well, mm. perhaps, uh, well, I think most of us remember those radios. Um, if you're younger, well, you, you might have seen them on pictures, you know. Uh, you have to, to uh, turn some, some of the, I don't know how you call that, but it's... <laughs> Dials or something, the, two knobs. The knobs, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you can, um, yeah, look for the right, the, the one you want. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And it's like if we are tuned to the trouble at work that happened or those people who didn't respond the way we wanted to or there's some technical breakdown that we can't really fix now but we still choose to focus on it then we're not getting a clear station that gives us the static and turn the knob and focus mm -hmm. on something that we would like to to yes. be connected to. Mm. Yeah. So so true. And I think, um, you know, so Shaklini says, tune into FM inner being. Um, expand on what would that be? FM inner being, right? And Jen, yeah, what is that said, station? We always get to her. tune to who you are. Mm. Maybe I will read it. You're chopping up a little bit. Yes. We so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please do. Okay. We always get to tune our own tuner. Tune to who you really are. Perfect, mm -hmm. Jen. That is. That is what is the content of this quote, too. That is our inner being. That's who we really are. That's our yes. connection to the greater. Mm -hmm. Actually, Abraham. Well, yeah. but it, so if you share about Abraham, I'm going to, to uh, go out and in uh, again. Is that okay? Yeah. I will leave you and I come back in a, in a sec. Okay. Yeah, because we'll I think a I connection. can fix this. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you share about Abraham. Yeah. So Abraham is this uh, collection of uh, souls, let's say, spirits, who sh channel through Esther Hicks. And he says, alignment with source, being inside your vortex of creation Becoming one with the true expanded version of you is the ultimate selfishness. So that's an interesting way of looking at it. So he's saying that becoming one with the true expanded version of you. That's what Jen said about our, I don't remember the words you used, but it's like our inner being, our higher self, the part of us that is connected to, to the to the spirit world, the world, the way I call it. And he says that is selfish. And that is, I find that interesting because to, to many of us, being selfish is such a negative thing. We've learned that that is a negative thing. But when we are selfish enough to really connect with our inner being, then we are able to be there so much more for others as well when we are in our full potential then uh, we can uh, also 
be, Hi. do, and have everything. Hi, Tina. Good. Welcome yeah, back. I'm back. I yeah. think this is better. I think so. Yes. I can see you clearly and hear you clearly. I which is tuned good. into Ooh. the right frequency. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> FM connection. Yeah, <laughs> FM connection. Yes. Yeah, and and that is, uh, um, yeah, about talking about fine tuning, right? Yeah. Um, uh, actually, a perfect, a perfect example. The connection wasn't really well clear, and um, and then it's it's well beautiful to say, okay, this is not what I want. Let's breathe in and out and check. Okay, which connection do I want? And here it is. Fixed. Very good. Very good. Awesome. Yeah. And that's the same. I don't know what you shared. You shared something about Abraham. Yeah. Um, I'll read it again. Alignment with source, being inside your vortex of creation, becoming one with the true expanded version of you is the ultimate selfishness. Mm. So I like that way of thinking about selfishness as really connecting with our inner being mm -hmm. and being the very best version of ourselves. Yeah. That's to me, that's what that is all about. And then when then we can shine our light, we can just be and other people around us can enjoy our beingness. Mm -hmm. Then we're so much more present for them and we don't, need to our buttons don't get pushed and we we're so stable when we're ha when we're in this connection that's oh yes that is so mm. true that is also um well for, from my own experience that is the way i feel when i'm at ease and i feel like i'm It's also like I'm totally in my body. Yeah. Um, yeah, then I'm present and then I'm stable and then everything is uh, flowing. When yeah. I'm like uh, a little bit stressed, I feel it uh, in my breathing. I feel, you know, uh, sometimes they say, well, in Holland they say, uh, um, Your, your head is heavy. I don't know if that is <laughs> okay. a, a, a perfect... That will be not a translation in English, I think. Maybe another expression. But here they say, oh, you have a heavy head. But that, that is, um, you know, that means that, well, you're not in your body. It's like stress right. and stress and stress. Um, so then tuned, yeah, then you're tuned into, well, a different FM. Yeah. And the flowing inner being one. Yeah. And Jen says alignment with who you really are, perceiving thought through perceiving through the eyes of source. Yes. Mm. Then we are able to do that when we're connected that way. That is, yeah. Actually, and, yeah, I'll, I'll just read the yeah. next. We are yeah. extension, extensions of God or source energy. Okay, mm. just so we have that. Yes. Yeah, because in our being, what do we mean by that? Right? Yeah. Because that is, well, something that can be very abstract to people. Um, do you have well, uh, thoughts around that? I'm sure you do. Yes. I'd like to share them. <laughs> <laughs> can we please Well, hear? for me, it's like, it's, it's this pure love energy that is inside everyone uh, but also like uh, um, yeah it's uh, today I thought um, uh, yeah it's in me it's around me it is before me it's behind me it's it's uh, be yeah everywhere but also this this it's this connection with um pure love that is how yeah. it's, i see it and i think some people will call it god or source or 
um, yeah, but it's this connection to this bigger yeah. thing. Yeah. How would you call it? How would you to to, to me? It? I use to me. It's my soul, hmm. and to to me that is the part of me that is that was before I came to this earth and continues after I leave my body. So it's that part, that eternal, eternal. part. Yeah. And that's, so I, I, my way of understanding that is that we're like a radio receiver and mm-hmm. also a broadcaster. So we can receive the spirit, the s- signals from source and mm. pass them on. That's one way of, so, so like our inner being is like a mirror, maybe taking in the light and with the ability to reflect it back up to if our mirror is clean. And that yes. is when we are, that that's is... when we're tuned into FM inner being, then our mirror is clean. Yes. Well, Jen uh, comments about our inner being and she says our inner being soul is a part that enters our body on first breath and goes back to non-physical on last breath. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is interesting as well. And hi, Spinoza. Awesome. Nice to see you. Happy Valentine's Day. Yes. And uh, whatever it is for you personally, when you're watching this, um, well, share it because, uh, yeah, together we learn and grow. So awesome. Mm. And, you know, if you want to um, have some, ass- not, well, not assistance, not, but when you want to um, join our weekly workshops, you're most welcome. It is, um, it's fun. It's very, um, oh, everyone is welcome. Uh, it is uh, vibrant and every week it's different. Um, and when you're there, you know, that is the most perfect timing, most perfect place. And, uh, you know, everyone who's there is there because, yeah, you know, growing, learning, expanding together. So fun. Mm. Yes. Yeah. And Jen says, we are non-physical energy, choosing to have a physical experience and Mm. expand all that is. And that is an interesting idea because, yeah, I do believe also that this physical experience is our chance to expand also Mm -hmm. to for our inner being to expand and grow and learn and that that's what happens yeah well and jen says uh um you know that as a non-physical energy we chose yeah to have a physical uh experience and um that is interesting because that might be something totally new or so yeah something that you never heard before but you know um if so just let it resonate let it sink in um everything is perfect so mm-hmm. yes oh and janice janice really commenting oh that is so fun <laughs> yeah. everything is always expanding based on our focus focus on what feels good yeah yeah and the better the more we feel good the more we're connected to our inner mm-hmm. being that's like the sign feeling good yes then we are connected yeah. oh so wonderful and uh so Brit, do you have more expansions more um awesome thoughts around this beautiful quote? No, no, it's good. I think it's good. No. <laughs> no, there's something I was thinking, you know, 
the love we were talking about love and valentine's yes. day and all that and and source is love you know inner being mm-hmm. is the love and if we but that will not as if we go in our go about our days and just stay in our unfocused mm-hmm. uh, what do we call it uh, static energy yeah. then that love cannot reach us at where we are at mm. so we ha- when we clear the static and focus then this love can flow mm. that's one way of looking at it too that is true and mm. also uh but it, um when we have energy that is not clear or when the music isn't what you want mm. there is something you know um you have to do right to make a choice like mm. if uh like you make made a choice by turning on the knobs of the radio player mm. um it doesn't shift by itself it's it's just an inspired action yeah you're asked to do and at the same time jen says here be easy about it all mm-hmm. yes it's not like oh no you're not connected <laughs> There's nothing like that at all. We are what we are, and that's okay. And then yeah. we have the opportunity to shift. If we realize that this is something I don't want, mm. then I have the opportunity to focus on something different. And also to realize that um, if you if you're not tuned into the station you want, your FM inner being, it doesn't mean that it's not there. Right? right it's always there yeah. always yeah you know uh it's just um well turning it to you know the the frequency you want mm-hmm. um and it's also the answers you're appreciated for your you being you mm-hmm. and your inner being oh loves you so much um whether you're perfectly tuned into that fm inner being or not it doesn't matter right and we're not supposed to be tuned in 100% of the time mm-hmm. in our physical world we're supposed to go between flow Ooh. and experience the contrast and so that we know what we don't want and then we can send out new wants of what we want new wishes new orders for right. what we want that's beautiful yeah. yes jen has a comment she sa- she says yes you can always turn the channel shift to a better feeling frequency yeah and that is so reassuring that mm. when well when you're tuned to a channel like um you don't don't like that much well you can always uh, go back and it's like what you said brit like um you you go between those worlds right you make um you also need a contrast to yeah to feel what it what it is you really want your desires mm, mm. Mm. yeah awesome all right beautiful well and let's invite everyone to tune into fm inner being um and to uh, experience what it is for you and if you want to have more um guidance more fun because when you're together with people who also love to listen to fm and inner being then it's easier to find to mm. find that um uh, frequency right it is you know you go in the flow with everyone so if that's what you want um 
well, feel free to reach out to us um, to get to know all about Best Life. Uh, and Best Life is, oh, uh, that is all about finding your FM inner being. All about that. Awesome. And hi, Amir. So nice to see you. Um, happy Valentine's Day to Kosovo. Awesome. But it's some last wise words before we end this beautiful, awesome Facebook Live. Remember that you always have a choice. Always. Mm. Always. Well, for now, a happy day. Uh, meet you next Friday. Bye-bye, everyone. everyone.